everybody, Brian Fouts here. And in this video, I'm very excited to have uh, someone I've known for many years now, uh, Ted Thomas. Now, Ted is in a very unique business, and it's one that I've actually been involved in in the past. And it's kind of in the real estate space, but it's very unique. And Ted is one of those individuals that when I've come, when I came, first came across him, I realized that he was doing something unique. And I look for those unique opportunities because that's oftentimes where the gold is at. And so the more that I learned about what Ted does, the more excited I got. And so we've had a lot of clients work with Ted. So I want to invite him back to one of these calls and go through a set of questions that I have around this concept to help you understand what Ted does and how this can work for you and help you when it comes to, you know, building wealth, all that kind of stuff. So, um, Ted, so once again, welcome. I appreciate you being here. Well, listen, uh, with a nice introduction like that, I better really be good. I mean, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank well, you. Especially with, especially with the returns that, that your students get too and your clients get, because there are some phenomenal returns that they're getting. Exactly. And so I know we're going to get into some of that stuff. So, um, Ted, if you could explain a little bit about this business and what you do. Okay. Well, uh, nationwide, uh, every property has a tax. It's called a property tax. And it's always uh, issued by the local county. So the local county collects property tax to pay the police, the fire department, schools, school teachers, and so on. So uh, if someone doesn't pay their property tax, in the United States, half of the states will actually confiscate the property, and then they'll sell it to collect the tax. And then the other half of the states are benevolent. And what those states do is they issue a tax lien certificate. So that's been a business that's been around for 200 years. And the reason it's a business is that the counties, they try to collect the tax and not everybody pays their tax. Now, that doesn't mean they're bad people. Sometimes people have a, you know, an, an automobile accident and they were, you know, they lost their job. Other times people have a, a crisis at home and, and they, they, they're, they, they don't pay their bills. And so things happen to people. So as we say, stuff happens in the world and people don't pay their tax. So now they either get a tax lien certificate issued or they get the property confiscated. So these properties end up in a list and, and that's a business. So I uh, teach people how to do that. And on tax lien certificates, you can make a lot of money, but I didn't mean 18, 24, even, even higher percentage rates. And on the tax defaulted property, when they sell those, they sell them for just the back taxes. So that's happening all over the United States. And I've been teaching people that for 30 years. And um, I teach other people to do it so you can make money and you can make significant amounts of money like my clients do. Very cool. Very cool. So uh, so for people that aren't, uh, you know, that have not done this before, we're talking about tax lien certificates and tax defaulted properties, correct? Right. Okay. Both of them. We talk about so, so let's look at the tax lien ones first. So how do those really work? So like, what is a tax certificate? How does it work and how are they, how are they investing in okay. the business? All right. So uh, half of the states, uh, let's use Florida for an example. In Florida, if someone doesn't pay their tax, the state is very benevolent. So the state will say, all right, you haven't paid your tax. So they're going to slap your hand like that. And what they're going to do is they're going to issue a piece of paper. Now, that's what this is. This is a tax lien certificate. They're going to issue that. Now, they issued it, and that's a lien now against the property. All right, but I can then go pay the tax. So if I pay the tax on that property, that means when you come in to pay your tax or whoever comes in to pay, when they come in to pay the tax, they not only have to pay the tax, but just like master charge and visa, when you pay late, you got to pay interest. So in Florida, you can earn up to 18% on that tax certificate. So people buy dozens of these certificates to make those high interest rates. Now, a place like Florida pays 18%, Arizona 16 a place like Iowa pays 24 You're getting the idea. So about half of the states pay those tax lien certificates. Now, there's so many people don't pay the tax. In Florida alone, one million of these certificates are issued every year. So people are waiting in line to make those kind of interest rates, especially when the banks are paying three or four percent, makes sense. Now, because yeah. I've done the tax defaulted properties, which where I had to go to the the auction house steps. So right. that's different than the certificate states, correct? Yeah. So that exactly that was a good a good way to say that. So there's a certificate state, like you mentioned. So now let's go to a state like Oregon or Washington. In those states, that those states are not so benevolent. They say if you haven't paid your tax, we're going to issue a tax default, and then they issue a tax deed. Same kind of thing. So, you know, when you bought a property, you, you pay, you got a deed. That tax deed allows them to sell that property, and they don't care what they sell it for. The county doesn't want the property. They want the tax. So they put those properties on a giant list. Let me show you a giant list. I'm going to show you one in California. Just to show you. 
This will be a li list for just Los Angeles, California. This is a list of the tax tax deeds that are available. So that'd be, that, that list has over a thousand on it. A place like Seattle will have 200, 250 properties that they're gonna sell. Starting bid is the back taxes and they wipe out, they X out the mortgage and the deed of trust. So you're buying a property like you went to on the courthouse steps, starting bid is the back taxes. Now it's not gonna sell for back tax because I'm gonna go and you're gonna go, we're gonna kind of bid it up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So when I did that, I did it in person. I remember, I, th I think when I did it, this has been years now, I went and I looked them up online first so I could find the properties. I do some research and then I'd say, okay, I want to bid on these three properties. And as you said, it was very hard to get them at a reasonable amount because everybody was bidding them up back then, but I had to go do it in person. But from you know working with you and understanding your process, this is something you can do online though, right? You can buy in every county in the United States online now. Now, I started this 30 years ago. I've been doing the same thing for 30 years. 30 years ago, we had to get in the car, drive to the county, get the list, then go out and drive around, look at all the properties. Then we did that. Then we could do what you did, go down to the courthouse steps and watch the bidding process, and then make sure that we didn't go over 30%, because when you get over 30%, then you know, you're worried about... Because remember, all these properties will be used and abused. Now, that doesn't mean they're junk. You don't want to buy junk, but they'll be. they're not going to be brand new pristine property. I mean, people didn't pay the, if they didn't pay their taxes, they probably didn't pay to paint and clean it up. They probably didn't take care of the landscaping. So you have to look at what you're doing, but you're buying properties at basically, for example, I buy properties, I'll try to buy, the bigger the property, the big, the, I like it. So a, a $600,000 property, I'd like to buy that for 30 cents on the dollar and so would you. <laughs> right, yeah, self profit. So a couple things that um, uh, when I hear this, it, I've heard some other people ask is, well, that sounds like there's a complicated process involved. I mean, is it a complicated process for tax liens or tax deeds? Well, for most of your viewers, if they've done anything in real estate, it would be relatively simple. But for the average guy, you're going to have to learn a little bit about the real estate lingo. But, you know, if you went to Paris for a couple of months, you probably want to learn a little, little, little French. So you learn a little bit about the business. Uh, we have courses. I actually do a class every other Saturday. I do a six hour class to teach people how to do it. So people that gotcha. watch through this video series, we're going to do four of these videos. If you watch through the series and you like this, you can come to one of our class. Now, it's very inexpensive. It's $47. Spend the whole day with us. It starts at 11 in the morning and goes to 5 at night. We'll talk more about that as we go along. But there is some learning process. It's not actually a piece of cake. But, you know, you, you really want to look at property. You really want to learn the difference between a tax <laughs> lead and a tax deed. You do want to learn that, you know, properties have values. So... You don't want to buy something too high. Now, the amateurs, they go to the auction and they want to win the auction. You don't want to win the auction. You want to win the lowest price prop property right. so that you have margin, you want margin between the retail value. Now, these properties are going to sell uh, 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents on the dollar starting bid. But the amateurs come to the auction, some they bid way too high. So we teach people how to bid how, and how to buy these properties correctly. But more importantly, we teach people how to sell property. So is that when, when we look at the returns that you can get, we say, you know, 18% returns, we're talking about what you can make on your money, but also you, you know, people can make, you know, lump sum amounts of money, 25, $30,000, correct? We just had a woman recently and she's in Kelowna, British Columbia, which is just from where you are. It's only a, a few hundred miles, but Kelowna is a nice little community North of uh, Vancouver, kind of the banana belt. It's warm there. In the winter, they have skiing in the summertime, a lot of, uh, water sports. But anyway, she wanted to learn how to buy here. So we taught her how to do it online. So she bought in Florida and she bought in an exclusive mobile home, which had waterways and big grass areas like golf courses and so on. And she bought there and she paid uh, about, about 15, 17 cents on the dollar. The point is she then rented it and she made a 40% return on her rental. But I tell people, don't rent property, just buy it, sell it, go to the next auction. So she sold it, and within a year's time... My name's Deb Murphy, and we're up here in Kelowna, British Columbia. We just purchased this first property in January of this year. So it is in Florida, and there's the front of the property. We got it at a super price. It was like, it was, I knew the price is what they were going for. Uh, so the area was selling very well, and we got it for less than half. We got it, I'd say, about 
35 cents on the dollar, which is awesome for Florida. So we so we bought it for 24.6 and then what you get in the mail is you actually get the tax deed itself straight from the county and I'll sell it quickly for 50,000. That that'd be a quick sale. I could possibly even get 55, 60. I chose this particular property um, because the lot itself that's situated in the park has a, a waterway and it's an extra double lot. These are um, manufactured homes. It's an area where people come to holiday, so they own their real houses somewhere in the States or in Canada. Lots of Canadians go down into Florida. So these manufactured homes, they're very nice and they're perfect for, for vacation homes. I love Ted for the fact that he um, is, he's book smart and he's street smart. And he's not afraid to say, like I'd said, if, before you buy a property, you have to know what your exit strategy is. And you have to know that it's workable, um, not just a fairy tale. Can you really sell it? Uh, and can you really rent it? Um, so he's very strong on making you tell yourself the truth. That's worth its weight in gold. She made $25,000 on that property, and wow. people do that all the time. So we teach people, don't buy these properties to make five or 10. We teach you to make, when you're all finished, you paid the brokers, paid everybody, paid the fix up, whatever you did, you wanna make 25, 50, and $100,000. That's what we teach, and then we've been doing that for decades. So, okay, so, Let's say if someone's investing amounts of money to make that kind of return, but what if someone only has like a, you know, five hundred to a thousand dollars? Okay, five hundred to a thousand dollars, you can still get in the business. Now you're not going to buy a a real estate property for five hundred dollars. Okay, you're not going right. to do that. But I'm going to show you examples of people that actually do. But the point is, most people are going to take five hundred dollars and buy a tax lien certificate. So if you bought a certificate, let's say you bought one in Florida. It would pay eight, it could get 18%. But even then, 500 bucks, 18% on that, you haven't even made 100 bucks. So d don't get in the business to do that. Get in the business to make the real money like you talked about. So, yes, you can do small deals, but, and I have one guy that bought a house. I, I mean, I couldn't even believe it. So I had a guy from Alabama call me. He's a newspaper reporter. You, you know, he's reporting in the newspaper and sending his, his newspaper ads, not ads, but his articles out like an editor would do. And he um, he called me, he said, I'm reading about these tax auctions. Can I really do this? I said, yeah. He said, all right. So he studied under me for a short period of time. Next thing I know, he's calling me on the telephone. And I said, well, what's going on? He said, what's going on auction? So um, he heads down there to the auction and um, there's nobody else there. There's nobody else. It's two, two bedroom, one bathroom. Nobody else there. So he's afraid to bid. So he calls me up and says, there's nobody here. I said, well, great, just buy it. He bought a house for $316, $316. This is amazing. What? So he buys this house, he calls me back. And he said, I got it. And I said, okay, good. What are you going to do with it? He said, oh, I don't know. I said, why don't you sell it? Now the house was probably worth 35 or 50 grand. It wasn't fancy, little house. And he said, oh, I don't want to sell it. I want to own stuff. I said, okay, well then you're going to rent it. So the people in the neighborhood said, you should rent it for 700 bucks a month. He only paid 300. Rent it for 700. So this young guy came, he said, look, I'm going to school. My dad gave me enough money for rent for the whole year. I'll give you $6,000 if you'll let me have your house for the whole year, just renting it, not buying it. So he paid 316 and he rented it for 6,000 bucks. So that's what kind of crazy is. So it's the world of the weird. So yeah. you get the idea. That's awesome. So yeah. a couple things here, because like, like when I think of this, I'm like thinking, why are we getting these houses? Because someone's not paying their taxes, right? And right. so exactly. if, um, you know, like one of the questions that I had when I first learned about this was uh, how are we getting these, this property um, or how are we getting the, the property if they don't pay the tax certificate? Like, how are we getting this property? Well, that's really a good question. I should have told everybody that. Folks, when you go to a tax defaulted auction, the first lien on a property is always the tax. Now, everybody says the first mortgage. Well, that could be a first mortgage, but before the mortgage, there's always a tax. And so the tax lien, when the auction takes place, it wipes out the mortgage. It deletes, it extinguishes the mortgage. So when you buy the property, you're going to get a property that's free of a mortgage or a deed of, tax, a deed of trust. 
So it doesn't matter which one you have. So if you're in a state with mortgages, it wipes that out. If you're in a state with deed of trust, it wipes that out. So this guy bought a house for 300 bucks, had no mortgage and no deed of trust. So he didn't have to pay anybody. So anything you, anything you bring in on that property, you get to keep. Now, I'm going to tell you, when you come to class, we're going to teach you check for IRS liens, check <laughs> for judgments, things like that. But the point is, those that lien is wiped out on those properties. How That's, about that? Okay. That makes yeah. sense. So now let me hold on. let me hold on because we're we're yeah. running out of time. I'm running out of time, folks. We're going to do four of these, okay? And we're going to send you a note and re remind you about it. But let me tell you just real quick: if you like what you're seeing, you can just go below me and you can register. Now I'm not an internet marketer, so I don't do anything free. I'm just a teacher and an and investor. So it costs forty seven dollars to go to my class. It lasts six hours, starts at eleven, goes to five. I'll tell you more about it. But you can register below. But hang in there. We're going to send you another note. We're going to do four of these videos, Brian and I, so you get educated before you even spend $47. How about that?